You're welcome. This is a quick story about me, you, we, and what that means to me. So, first off, starting with myself. I'm Bash, online. In real life, Sky. Depends on how you know me. Either way, I welcome you to this quick little journey and story into me and what this pub crawler group that I got going means to me. It really is. First off, I've been around for a while online playing games and whatnot. I got to give a solid uh, shout out to Squad. Uh, it's one of the few games that really brought a number of people that I know together from Kickstarter, closed early access, and uh, all the way to releasing on Steam. Really, I think like this last month, September 23rd, 2020. Anyways, enough about video games. I started a group with a good fellow of mine. It goes by Azeroth Online. Solid shout out to you. Thank you for making this home happen. Um, him and I had been looking to make a place where people could express themselves. Whether they disagreed, whether they agreed, didn't matter. But people could express themselves because too many places that we had been online wouldn't allow us to discuss if we didn't agree with the person that had set up the group. So, for instance, like one of the clans that we were in wouldn't allow political discussions because it got too heated. Um, we ended up making uh, a Discord that was sent around the UN where people could just like pretend, you know, not to represent company, but any thought, you know? And that was separate, but what ended up happening is as that clan fell apart, we grew into something that is now known as the Pub Crawlers. Uh, it started in September 2017. It's been around, you know, three years now. So the idea basically is anyone and everyone is welcome to come and go as they please, you know, as you would expect from a bar down the street. The locals come in and they kind of got a spot that they go to regularly. You'll know the members of the regulars. You might be one yourself in our group. Welcome. If you know me, cool. If you don't, this is a way to get to know me. And uh, the idea behind this video is to also set a little bit of a precedent for the people in our group that want to fall behind me and do this themselves, where either they talk about themselves, they talk about what they do, they talk about something they're interested in. Um, We've expanded not just beyond Discord, but we used to stream a little bit, a little bit of, you know, a YouTube video here and there or something like that. But really what we became is a group that meets up in real life. And that's been a really game changer for us. So we're going to be shaping that kind of as an annual thing for the group. Uh, we weren't able for 2020. COVID-19 kind of held us back, trying to stay safe and whatnot. But in April of 2019, we met up in Washington, D.C. in, I think, 12, 13 of us, something, something like that, uh, from a group of almost 300. But we met up in real life and traveled around. Uh, me and Katz, Katz came from Germany, international travel. And me and him went around to uh, <laughs> a lot of places. We went from, like... New York to D.C. to Ohio to Niagara to, like, all kinds of places you can't even imagine. Now, a shout-out to Katz, specifically for being patient as hell with me that I took a number, a number of hours of gigs. Number of hours. That's yeah, a little bit too much whiskey. Anyways, a number of hours of gigs of video and I still have yet to release it. Why? I haven't edited everything to the quality that, that I think it needs to be. Why? Well, all right. Four years ago, got hit by a car. This is where it gets personal. When I was riding my motorcycle, I was going like six miles an hour. Car pulls out 30 miles an hour. Go flying a bit. Wake up without a helmet on. End up being externally what seems okay. Had no skin on my hands for a little bit and stuff like that. A little bit of asphalt embedded in me in some places and that kind of stuff but overall it's okay go to the hospital they took some x-rays some issues and whatnot but nothing too big four years later which is like today i'm let's see 
14 hours away from getting surgery where I get a piece of my spine removed. And that piece of my spine is the tailbone. So I'm going to like, be like, tail, this human, I don't know. We don't use those anymore, I guess. Weight reduction kit. I don't know how, however you want to see it. But, um, yeah, I am getting a literal piece of my spine caught out and removed from my body tomorrow. It's the most significant surgery I've had since the motorcycle wreck, and this is life-changing for me. Um, but what has been probably the most supportive thing for me for this whole time being is this group, is the group that me and Azeroth started back in the day that has been expanded by people like Patty, Tack Tops, Cats, uh, Woes and Tacanis, Marks, Kevy, all kinds of people, uh, Rogue Grenade, all like all kinds of people have been involved in this. Kiss Pie, you know, thank you to everyone. Thank you to everyone that's been involved. Every regular, oh John, W Camp, like all kinds of people, even like people from back in the day, like Space and like shoot. Delta, like, I got to say, thank you all for being involved. Thank you all for making this place what it is. And the identity that it is is pub crawlers, right? So pub crawlers is trying to make it where anyone that comes in and makes this place home is the identity that makes this place home. So this is my identity. This is me sharing my most personal with you. This is me kind of setting a stage, not where... I'm going to constantly rant about myself to people, but I don't share um, too much about myself. I do at times, and I do in ways, especially when I drink, which is right now. So I have developed a comfort of being honest in front of a camera more than I can in front of people, more than I can um, where people can respond. Um, it's almost as if like I'm comfortable telling my truth but not sharing it. So this is it. This is me, Bash or Sky, as I put it, um, being real. View a camera. Any person listening to this or viewing this, and uh, anyone that uh, cares to know why, why the pub crawlers exist, what we're doing, where we're gonna go, and quick little bit about that is I have been stalling on those videos since April 2019. That's over a year and a half if you do the math. Um, I also have other obligations within our group that I have failed to complete. We've started another podcast where we watch B-movies. Super dope. B-real podcast. Check it out. Um, we have other people that are doing like D&D hosts. We are like doing game nights. Fun shit. But the main thing is we have a yearly meetup, you know, and that yearly meetup is huge. So I see a lot of major things happen to it. Not only us, our group, us individuals, our country, but I'm excited for it. Um, me, myself, tomorrow has a big life changing event. Um, I'm sure other people have been going through their own. If people feel obligated to uh, share or if people feel encouraged to share, I'd much rather it be encouraged and still obligated. So just, if you're new, if you're old, if you're in between, welcome to the group. Love you. Fuck off. Everything in between. Fuck you, Wozen. I love you so much. This is a unique place. This is a unique spot. This is your friends these are people that you can game with that you can argue with that you can disagree with that you can agree with these are democrats these are republicans these are centrists these are liberals these are the people that like vote for george jorgensen like <laughs> sorry steve i love you <laughs> um this place this pub crawler group that we're doing, that we're starting, that we've started. It's three years in now. This is something different. Um, it's like an online bar is how I used to put it, but it's more than that. We meet up in real life. We know each other. 
And if you don't know us, you're welcome to join. So, cheers. <laughs>